Hey, before we start, just want to remind you all that Gaming Against Mental Illness Redux is going to be live tomorrow for 16 hours starting at 10 a.m. Eastern. That'll be over on twitch.tv slash scribed. We're continuing to raise money for the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation on with Control. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control. What we have ahead of us is a brain cloud. It was described as being sort of a neurological hitchhiker from the astral plane that caught a ride back to material reality inside the brain of an astral knot. Isn't that a fun word? So, this is a relentless predator. We've seen its type in the astral plane before while communing with the board. We're gonna play a little ring around the rosy and just trap it in here as soon as I can find another battery. It's gonna come up that side. Place the battery in. And then we are going to lure it back into this containment cell. Gonna let it get pretty close, just near the caution tape. And then give it the run around again. Luckily this door was open. I couldn't remember whether or not that defaulted to closed or open. Probably would have had to do another loop if it had been closed. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshal, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We have. Hurry. We have some fun departments coming up. We have the hypnosis lab, parapsychology, extrasensory perception, and we have some more optional objects of power coming up. One of them is really cool. One of them is more foreshadowing for much later. Ooh! I didn't... Christ, I didn't have my, uh, my telekinesis for that rocket ready. And we have a few of them floating around up in the air. I think there's a bunch of them on low health, and we have that launch upgrade that lets us fling low health enemies now. Or at least low health guards. Oh, neither of them are connecting. Don't quite have the angle. Easy to dodge that. Eh, this is okay. Except for its positioning. Ooh. Just want him in a better spot. Ooh. Okay, let's deal with that. That's a problem. <laughs> Pretty soon the low level guards are going to be even less of a threat. We're going to get something really cool soon. Just going to feed him a whole ass bench. Ooh. One has a grenade launcher. Luckily, the grenades are way easier to fling back uh, than mid-air rockets. Oh shit. A bad depth perception there because of all the particle effects. I think we're... Mm, no, no, we're not quite good, I think. There's something somewhere. Just a straggler or two. Oh, there you are. Come here. <laughs> oh, no. Never been a biggest, uh, a big fan of the dodge efficiency personal mods. Just don't think they're worth it. Well, we might have a few spare ability points, or at least some resources to craft Pierce now. Back. 
Mon oh no. Oh, well, we have a few things before we get to the elevator to talk to Marshall some more. And it's somewhere around here. One of these documents will trigger a side quest. And I think it's this one. Yes. A captive audience. Investigate the X-ray light box object of power. Which is down here, I think, in hypnosis. Yes, indeed. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Yeah, they are totally transfixed by the X-ray light box. They don't even notice Jesse. Or if they do, they don't care. They can't rip their gaze away. We're just gonna have to find a way to get in there. There was a locked door, so we have to figure out how to unlock it, which we will do over at this terminal. So there's a pattern that we have to figure out, and the pattern is this, plastered on the wall, near the Rorschach tests and some of the other stuff. So we just have to recreate that. They even give it to you up in the upper right. So it's a thin outer ring on all sides, and then little chunky diamond on top to there and that opens this door over here which lets us into the containment room please state your name for the record all Warren astronaut first class and you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Let's go see if this causes some ego death in us. Use C's to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. And we have this golden copy slash NPC. Golden enemies can't be harmed directly by Jesse. Enemies at low health can be seized. So let's see what that's all about. It's mind control. This totally optional power that we just got is mind control. So we soften an enemy up and send them to fight for us. This one's not doing a great job. It's kind of got stormtrooper aim. Oh, there we go. They're starting to hit him. Oh, wait. Ooh. I forgot there were more. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's the worst I could have done. Let's just try to not ignore the rest of the spawns this time. <laughs> Holy hell. That is a first for me. Now we get to see more of the cool seas effect. Let's wait for you to round that corner. Oh, just my one dude is doing a better job this time. Already got him down to half health. Might not even get to that third spawn. Unless you just take the back way. Aww. My seized kiss guard killed someone else I was trying to seize. They have no chill. Come on. I can't seize you. Oh. Let's not be dumb again. Let's 
now bound slash validated. And with that, we have the seize power. So we have our dash, we have seize, and we have telekinesis so far. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Let's help him sit down and relax. Good enough. Okay, and we're off to parapsychology. To meet up with... Our next friend. And if you liked Emily, and you liked Ati, you'll probably like her too. First, this should unlock an additional personal mod slot. Uh, when is our next weapon form slot? A little ways off. But we can upgrade C's for now, add a little bit extra to the duration, and then get into the fun stuff after we have increased the numbers. Still not quite enough to make Pierce. Damn. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, though. And yeah, I do normally wait to upgrade the grip until I've uh, unlocked some more forms. So we have a little shortcut back. We recognize this. And things are looping around now. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on, I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. So before the elevator to Marshall gets here, we have some splody friends, some banelings. Oh, I love that that works on these, too. You can also... Oh, shit. This is going to be hard to see anything coming if we stick around. And all that haze. You can seize these as well. Come on. Before I get shot. Yeah, he'll provide a nice little buffer. Sounds like the elevator has arrived, so we'll deal with this. And also, just Phineas Gage, that big model brain. We'll speak to Marshall in a second. I hope this is... Yeah, 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 the rubber duck supplement. Discovered in the home of Agent Blank after his young daughter complained of being followed by a rubber duck. According to Agent Blank, the matter was ignored, believed to be a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update, it was discovered that Agent Blank was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Blank has been terminated. I'm very excited about the rubber duck. It's one of the objects of power that I'm definitely going to show, and I really wanted to make sure that I found the note uh, actually, I think there's more than one, uh, but I wanted to find at least one note corresponding to it. Oh no, we can't move on without boosting morale. <laughs> and also, stealing a four-leaf clover. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, 
head of Bureau Operations. Sakurai is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Seen that funky mirror they're studying down the hall? I heard it steals your soul. Mirror that steer steals your soul. We're gonna get back to that pop off in a second. But first, nothing, nothing. Oh, something. Even get to see the fireworks before we throw ourselves right in the middle of them. I see rangers over there. We have to help them. Ritual division. It really is just the Magnus archives. Which one is it that they're working on right now? Is it the scoured earth? Shit. I don't remember the name of most of the rituals. I was trying to pull more, but mm, in the moment they're just not coming. Do need to collect a little bit of that health though. This is okay. We have some of the rangers taking fire from us. Where they're splitting the fire. Even lets the fight get a little bit- Oh, hello. Get a little bit more chaotic. Since there are more targets for the hiss. Which is really nice because there are a lot of these snipers too. And uh, the enemy types that heal other hiss. So you want to be definitive with who you are focusing. Woo! Also, all the rangers on top of having the green health bars, you can kind of set them apart because of the glow. Uh, they're, I guess, the HRAs and the headlamps from their helmets. Ooh, hold on. We have to... Get out of there. This big boy is round two. So the pattern here is pretty simple. You hit him with uh, something flung at him telekinetically. It'll deplete his shields. Then you just go to town. Uh, he's not super dangerous. Also might have the opportunity to seize someone coming up. I'm going to try for you. Uh, this might get me hurt. I... Hmm. Do you have iframes while you're seizing? It looks like that might be the case. I did not know that. Let me recharge. There we go. Oh, I flung him when he was low on health. There's still someone somewhere. There we go.
I would deeply like to be able to make this Pierce mod before we move on. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! There's that rubber duck. And some more patterns. The duck even has an aura. Number 52AE Analysis, Session 2. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. So we can't get to the rubber ducky yet. But just keep the duck in mind. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Not taken over by the hiss. Anything particularly valuable in here? Uh, doesn't look like it unless there's something over here. Hmm. What is the point of this room? And then somewhere in one of these corners, I know there is a chest or something. There it is. And another one of these. So we have the pattern right there for us. So we just have to recreate that. No, whoops, nope. It's a thin line on the right side. So just right, and then... Hmm. What am I missing here? There we go. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Now we have a little puzzle room. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. We will work on that next time. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.